Jojo. I'm Abby and I'm Erica and today we're doing a video where we read the assumptions people made about us on our Instagram stories and we basically either confirm or deny them and most of them will come with story times. So we just picked our favorite 13 each. Erica's gonna go first. Okay. Um, let's see. So somebody assumed that you drink a lot of coffee and this is true. I do. Uh, probably at least once a day then I'll like get another coffee or like make another coffee. Well, you know, I do drink a lot of coffee and I enjoy it, so back off. So somebody assumed that I like Dunkin' more than Starbucks. Um, I can't really compare Dunkin' with Starbucks. At Starbucks, I use the little point system and I get free drinks and you know, that's lit. So honestly, when I'm going to Starbucks, it's either because I want ice cream and I get a frappuccino or because I want an ice caramel macchiato. If I go to Dunkin', I'm like looking for coffee because at Dunkin' I just get an iced caramel coffee, no cream, no sugar, like black coffee and caramel. So it just depends on what I want. I can't compare the two, so I can't confirm or deny if I like Dunkin' more than Starbucks because I don't know. Okay, so going along with this coffee trend we have, I have, you have an unhealthy obsession with Dunkin'. I can say that's facts. Fight me, <laughs> hater. <laughs> this was <laughs> changes. <laughs> Listen, I, okay, so I started drinking Dunkin', like, I don't know, like, it was so weird, because I didn't even know it was a thing, right. and I didn't really drink coffee that much, I had it once, and then I was like, oh my god, this is so good. I think the obsession's just really with coffee. This person assumed that I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know what in the world <laughs> would cause that assumption, pretty sure the person knows I don't have a boyfriend, so thanks for being a hater. Deny, I do not have a boyfriend. There's no story time with that. So somebody assumed that I'm thriving. <laughs> well, basically, yes, I am. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm taking summer classes. Like, a lot of people are like, why are you taking summer classes? Are you stupid? Or like, what? Yeah. But I think I'm thriving because I'm going to graduate in three years. Yeah. So that's know. thriving. All so. right. Great segue. <laughs> this person assumed that... I'm going to take longer than four years to graduate because I switched majors. So for anybody who doesn't know, I switched from biomedical engineering to psychology because engineering was not my thing. Psychology. And, and basically when I went to like the advisors, one of the things I asked at like my meeting to switch was, am I gonna be able to graduate in four years? And they said based on my CCP from high school and the crap I did take for engineering that I'm, I'm still more than on track to graduate in four years so deny that claim i will be graduating in four years with my psych degree somebody assumed that i'm sick of people telling me about the case set study for you when talking about college so if that doesn't make sense people so in psychology you study people right and everybody is always saying that oh, my family's a good case study for you because they're saying they're psychotic or they have, like, issues. And it's like they try to be cute and quirky, but it's like, I'm not going to study you. Um, so I would say that's kind of true. This person assumed that I failed college. This assumption probably comes from a combination of, A, I've switched out of engineering, and B, um, I exposed myself and said I failed four exams this year, which really is not a lot compared to the amount of exams. Like I had like 13 midterms because every core class had three midterms in addition to final, like insane. That does not make sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so I've had an insane amount of exams. So only failing four is actually an accomplishment. I mean, clearly there's people that failed zero. <laughs> so I don't know if this assumption is stemming from that or just the fact I switched out engineering. I just didn't like it. And so I'm just switching to psychology. I didn't fail college. I deny that claim. Okay, so somebody assumed that I'm currently homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You might think that I am, which I kind of am. Just kidding. No, I'm not. I have a home in Cleveland, <laughs> technically. I probably have two homes. Home right I have here. a mom home and a dad home. But they're in Cleveland. But I wanted to stay here in Cincinnati, so... You're the opposite of homeless. This girl's got more <laughs> homes than any of you. This person assumed that I low-key hate Erica. I thought it was pretty high key, so... <laughs> Just kidding. I deny that claim. I love Erica. So, my next one is, um, you are a party girl. 
This is completely false. <laughs> this <laughs> is you. false. I literally, we stayed in our dorm. Yeah, I mean, we can honestly our say we didn't go to a our party. Homework. But no, for real. Like, the craziest we got, it'd be like 11.30, and she'd be like cooking something, or painting her toenails, or watching <laughs> One Tree Hill, and I'd be at her desk. Second semester, seriously, I was doing homework every night. So no partying for us. No. This person assumes that I never cry. That's low-key true. Um, I don't cry a lot. I don't really have feelings. But I would say that I cry at the appropriate times. I'm emotional, but I don't like cry. I don't just <laughs> cry at anything. I don't know how to explain it. I would say yes, I don't cry often. If I'm crying, it's normally something serious or something just like really like... I've lived with her for like a year now and I... They've only seen you cry when it was an appropriate time to cry. <laughs> exactly. Like, so I'm going to confirm, I never cry. It's just funny. <laughs> Somebody assumed that I always cry. <laughs> Why are we different? I don't know. So this is true. I basically always cry. I will cry um, if I'm frustrated, if I'm mad, if those are like the same thing. If I'm happy, if I'm stressed, if I'm like anything. I'll cry. And if she's watching One Tree Hill, <laughs> it's funny. Any episode, it doesn't matter what is happening. I'm just chilling watching it. And she goes, I don't understand how you're not crying right now. <laughs> Nothing was crying worthy. I watched show. One Tree Hill like four times. So I feel like an emotional connection to everybody and everything. So when it happens, I'm like, wow, I felt that. This person assumed. You're sick of others getting involved in your love life. No shade, but like, true. This is your tea. Everyone get your tea out. Drink your tea. And mind your own dang business. Minding your business is a lot like drinking tea. I can confirm I'm sick of people getting involved in every aspect of my life. Somebody assumed that one Tree Hill is love, and One Tree Hill is life. <laughs> Which I hate that that's the saying, but we're gonna go with it. I've watched it like four times. I'm just really emotionally attached to everybody. I love the show. I love Wilmington, North Carolina. That's where it was filmed. I've been there twice. I She's gonna go again with me. Yes. So I went to the convention. I, I got a picture with Chad Michael Murray. We'll and insert that right here. <laughs> I got a hug from him and then he felt the sweater that I was wearing and he was like, oh my god, that's really soft. I just love the show. So we need to go to the next convention. We're going to start a GoFundMe linked down below. Yes. Send us to the next convention and we want a picture with James Lafferty. Yes. So I <laughs> can confirm that One Tree Hill is love and One Tree Hill is life. This person assumed, and this was more like a first impression assumption. They said, before I met you, I assumed you were low-key mean. I love when people tell me that because, like, they assumed it, yet it didn't keep them away from me. I just don't walk around with a smile on my face, mm -hmm. like, and I think a lot of people get from that that either I don't like them or I'm stuck up. I think in college I've gotten better about not looking ticked off at the world. I can confirm that I probably did look mean when they first met me, but deny that I'm mean because I'm a nice person. This person assumed that yellow is your favorite color. Um, yellow is a good color. I like yellow. I think I'm starting to like it more. Yellow is the color of happiness. Exactly. But I kind of like light pink a lot. But yellow is probably that too. Like, those colors. But I Comment wear black. down below if you think she should get yellow nails next time she gets her fill -in. That would be so scandalous. Do it. You Guys, if you vote for that, I will do it. But I will hate my life. If we can get five comments that say she should get yellow acrylics, she's doing it. I'll make sure of it. Don't you worry. Okay, so, keeping with the theme of, like, first impressions, this person said, mine isn't current, but I thought you were a brat in Girls on the Run. But you're my fave brat now. But, basically, um, she's talking about when I was in the 8th grade, so I was 13 years old. I did Girls on the Run, and she was my running buddy. Basically, long story short, we were wearing capes for our 5K run. Like, adult woman in charge of it. She messed up my dad's cape. We wanted safety chief because he like does environmental health and safety. She must have lost it and then in her head, she just thought she remembered what it was. So what we sent her was a diamond with an S and a C in it. The stencil that she has for him to use the puffy paint is CS. And I'm like, 
okay, this isn't what we sent her. And then she's like, yeah, he's Captain Safety. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> no, it was Safety Chief. <laughs> now I'm a little better at adapt and overcome. People are not going to do things perfectly right, even though I want them to. 13-year-old me was not, so I was ticked. It was just a hard day for me because I just like when everything goes smoothly and perfectly. So she thought I was a brat because of that. Yes, I can confirm that I was a brat. Not intentionally. I just like perfection. <laughs> this is tea. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I got the assumption that I don't like JJ's sister. <laughs> I do like JJ's sister. I do. I do. I do. Feels like you're trying to convince yourself <laughs> no, of that. No, we have been close ever since me and JJ have been dating. And she's quite a few years younger. Yeah. So I think she thinks of me as a sister. Okay. This person assumed that I have a machine that uses witchcraft to make a cane's meal. I That's wish I did because that would save me a heck of a lot of money. But no, when you see canes on my Snapchat story 17 times a minute. <laughs> It's because I literally eat canes that much, and I literally have to buy canes that much. So I'm dropping $7 at canes like I'm rich. So I have to deny that I have that machine. This person assumed that I will have four kids. Winky face. <laughs> I probably won't have four kids. Probably two, or three, or four. No. I'm gonna have four. Probably two, and then like three might be like the max. So probably not four. I'm sorry, person who said that. This person said that she assumed I was going to be lazy when she first met me. Basically, she was in my engineering team. She told me that the first time that we, like, met each other, apparently, like, one of my very first things I said to them was, oh, yeah, last semester I didn't do much with my engineering team. Like, I didn't personally do much. Kind of fact, because I can't do anything engineering-related. But based on that, she thought I was going to be lazy. And I asked her, I said, was I lazy? And she said, no, I was an angel. Good, so good, good. I can confirm that it makes sense that she was assumed I was going to be lazy. But we will deny that I was actually lazy. All right, this one's a pretty good one. So this person assumed that I'm going to be a uh, can I speak to your manager, mom? Which I can confirm, I'm already uh, can I speak to your manager mom. And the person who assumed this knows I am because I definitely am that type. Like, But also, if it's minor, I won't care. I can confirm, I'm going to be a can I speak to your manager mom because I already am one in a non-mom version. So. so this person assumed that I'm not a natural blonde. This is ongoing beef because this person loves to say that and I think it's just because they know it's triggering to me But maybe it's because they really don't believe me. I don't know YouTube you heard it first. I am a natural blonde. Look at the roots I've never not been blonde like I can show y'all childhood pictures. I can deny that I'm not a natural blonde <laughs> So this person assumed that I fall in love easily with places like UC's campus which is true I like went to UC one time and then I was like, okay, I love it. I'm gonna go here. And same thing with like Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm like, I'm gonna live here. Or just like North Carolina in general, like that's where I wanna live when I'm older and I obsess over it. But I do fall in love easily with places. This is my last assumption and the last assumption of the video. Um, this person said, you're like super innocent and super nice to everyone. Um, I don't know for sure about the super nice to everyone. I'm sure you could find plenty of people that would say I was not nice to them because, you know, haters gonna hate. But super innocent, like, yeah, she got that spot on. I can definitely confirm that I'm super innocent. Can probably confirm that I'm super nice to everyone. Yeah. It's definitely something I try to do. I try, like, to treat people how I want to be treated. Like, I genuinely try to do that. You win some, you lose some. This girl thought I was nice from the get-go, apparently. If you are nice to people, you'll radiate your niceness across to everybody. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Um, this was just our little, like, getting to know you type of video so you guys can get to know more about us and get to know how people perceive us in the real world. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell notification. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make sense. <laughs>